And like a lot of things in acid-base equilibrium, what works with an acidic solution more or less works the same way with a basic solution. So for example, let's say you want to find the pH of 3 molar ammonium. which is a weak base and it has a KB equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. All right. Remember most places in your Gen Chem book they do give you a table of KAs and possibly KBs and a lot of times there's a big, append, uh, big table in your appendices as well. So for the most for problems like this the KA and the KB are given. So remember the base dissociation constant that comes from the equilibrium where your base reacts with water to give you hydroxide because it's a base and the conjugate of that base. So once again we start with an ice table. We take that as the formal concentration before any uh, dissociation occurs. So we have initially 3 molar of ammonia. Again, water is a liquid, so we don't care about its concentration. And like before, ignoring auto ionization, which basically means we're going to ignore the small amount of hydroxide that's technically in pure water. We got zero of each product. So the change is going to be you know, producing some of your hydroxide and ammonium. So you're going to lose X amount of ammonia, gain X amount of each product. So at equilibrium, we're going to have 3 minus X worth of ammonia, X amount of each product. So just like before, the KB is just an equilibrium constant. And it's equal to the concentration of your two products over ammonia. Again, water is a liquid. It's not factored in. You know, KB is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, which is equal to x times x over 3 minus x, which is equal to x squared over 3 minus x. So once again, we compare our value of k to the thing we're subtracting x from. They should be significantly different enough where, again, we can make the approximation at 3 minus x is going to be approximately 3. So that approximates to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 equals x squared over 3. So you, that makes x equal to 0, 0, 0073. And if you check the 5% rule, if you find 5% of 3, that is 0.15. So like before, the approximation is valid. X is significantly less than 5% uh, of 3. So here, X equals 0 0.0073. But remember, we're dealing with a base. So X here isn't the hydronium concentration. X is equal to the hydroxide concentration. So you can still use X to find the pH, but really you have to find the pOH first. pOH is the negative log of hydroxide. So you take the negative log of 0, 0, 0073 And that gives you a pOH equal to 2.1. And a common relationship between pH and the pOH is that for any solution, that those two things are going to add up to give you 14. So 
So the pH is going to equal 14 minus 2.1, which equals 11.9. So like we see, whether it's an acid or a base, it's essentially the same method for finding the pH of that given concentration. The only thing is that for a base, um, when we solve for x, we've got to do a little extra, just one extra little step because x is actually hydroxide, not hydronium.